the, the American Indian is like this, it's a highly contested site in the United States because it's been, um, it's been so erased that it doesn't functionally exist right, right. In, in, in discourse. It is either, you know, it's a noble thing or it's, or it's a savage thing or it's a, it's a drunken thing. Or it's whatever it has to be in a specific moment, that's what they want it to be. So it's, it's just a blank slate for them to write something in. But it's past, as opposed in Canada, it is here, it is now, it hurts, and it's in our face. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they, isn't that a great place for us to be in this absolutely uncomfortable place? Because then maybe we'll do something about it? I, I hope so. I hope so. I, I, I think without awareness, there is no change. Right. Um, uh, I have no faith in, in fellow Canadians to oh really God. change. None whatsoever. That's uh, really what did, depressing. What did Maria Campbell say? She, she, said, she said, we have, closet full, we have closets full of sorries. Right. But nothing changes. Nothing has changed because nothing needs to change for this society to roll forward. Nothing needs to change. So change would only come when the, whatever you want to call it, powers be, the white, the settler, whatever you want to call them, when they need to do something as opposed to when they want to do something. Is that yeah. what you mean? Yeah. Like finding all the bodies. I think Canada is more mad that the rest of the world found out about it. They were embarrassed on the global stage. And then they were like, oh my God. We've known all along, and so have you. You just got your noses rubbed in it by the BBC and Al Jazeera, and it hurts. And you're humiliated by that. And now that they're not reporting on it, and we're moving forward. Okay, I don't know how to ask this, but as a teacher, you seem such an optimist. As an indigenous Plains Cree, you seem such a pessimist. How do those two fit in the same guy? They have to. I live here. <laughs> yeah, but how do they fit? They have to. Does it not drive you mad, the conversation between optimist and pessimist? For your children. No. It's like, it's just, it is what it is. It's like... I don't know if I'd have that strength. I don't know if I could stand it, if I were you. It's, it's like... Talk to any person that faces that kind of history or that kind of trauma, and they're like, do you have white friends? I have lots of white friends. But how? Because I have to? Because <laughs> they're nice people? <laughs> My friends? <laughs> like, it's not like we have a choice. There's no choice here. We have to live. 